Hey guys and welcome to another makeup video here on my channel. So it's been a minute since I did one but I haven't really had the energy or motivation to do anything really. You know I've done vlogs lately and I like to do vlogs but it's fun to switch things up sometimes so I'm gonna try to do like um, an ombre eye look. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with priming my eyelids with this eye primer <laughs> by uh, showing it from the wrong side from uh, Isadora. Uh, I didn't really use to use primers like eye primers before, but then I found this one and uh, <laughs> I changed my mind. Like, works pretty good and you don't need that much so. I always used to use um, concealer because I thought it was unnecessary an unnecessary product to have like if I already have a concealer why have um, two products you know feel <laughs> but um, I don't know this one works good. Only use it like a couple of times, but if primers make your blending and everything easier, then it might be worth it, right? <laughs> so I don't know. What do you use? Do you use concealer or do you use primers? <laughs> so then I'm using this cool toned um, contour shade on a big <laughs> fluffy brush in my crease and I know you're not supposed to blow on your brushes because it's not that hygienic but I wash my brushes all the time and I only do my own makeup I used to go to a stylist school like in um, I think it's high school I don't know uh, what it's like in America uh, we go, we have one, first to ninth grade, and then we have, um, we call it gymnasium, and then you can choose, like, uh, you can choose anything, you can choose, like, hairdressers, like, different, different jobs, like, <laughs> restaurant, whatever. But I, I switched, I couldn't decide, I went to different schools, because <laughs> I, I don't know, I was struggling, high school, I think it's called high school, <laughs> or it's the same as high school, it was the toughest time for me, because, I don't know, I was struggling with my personal life, finding myself and stuff, now I know. <laughs> what I want and who I am and you know. but I think it's a tough time for a lot of people <laughs> but music helped me a lot I don't know what I would have done without music so I'm just blending that out mm, that's, yeah, to define the crease a little bit not that intense just, yeah, to, to make the crease more deep or whatever. <laughs> so then I'm gonna apply the lid color. But first I'm gonna use this light shade as a um, matte highlight uh, on the brow bone. I don't know if that will show up, we'll see. I don't always have to use... Um, sparkly or shiny highlight or you can do that on top of the okay <laughs> wiping the brush off on my hand very fancy <laughs> and then I'm going in with the lightest blue from this palette it's by Viva La Diva a Swedish brand so I'm packing on the pigment 
I don't know if I need setting spray, but we'll see. Okay, it's 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 fine without setting spray, but let's see if I can make the color pop a little bit more. So I saw a YouTuber packing on the shadow and then uh, spraying the brush. I used to do it the other way around, but we'll see if this makes any difference. Maybe. So now the brush is a little wet. I don't know what videos you want me to do in the future. I asked you and a lot of people said you want story times. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing those. And a lot of people want ASMR, but I don't want to do ASMR all the time. Um, it's not an ASMR channel, sorry to disappoint, but that was never my intention. People requested that, so I did that. And I will do it again, but it's not an ASMR channel. So, yeah. <laughs> Take it or leave it. I will do what I like to do what I enjoy doing and that shows when someone when someone does you know what they like so I have this single shadow by Milani called Bella Teal Metallic uh, gel powder eyeshadow so I'm gonna apply that mm. little old but yeah. um, spray the brush a little and the outer part of the lid I blended the two shades together with my finger a little bit and then I'm gonna apply this matte blue shade uh, on the outer C of the eye if you know what I mean just to create the ombre effect like light to dark got a bit of fallout but that's fine I think it's hard to find pigmented like royal blue or dark blue shades <laughs> can't get it to show up good the way I want it it's like it blends out to nothing you know trying to kind of packing it on instead of blending it on or you know what I mean like yeah. packing it on like this and then I'm blending out the edges a little bit I 
Okay, this is good enough. I'll apply this blue uh, eye pencil from Revolution off cam. Be right back. I also removed the fallout, so then I'll just apply a little bit of mascara. This would, uh, this look would look, this look would look <laughs> cute with uh, some lashes, the false lashes, of course. But ain't got time for that right now, you know. And I'm not curling my lashes either. Oh, I forgot. I'm gonna apply some blue. I think it's blue. Mm, perplex. No, it's purple. Hold on. I'm gonna get a blue eyeliner. Wait. Here we go. A blue eyeliner. It's called... Hmm... Can can't see the name. Strange. Anyways, it's by H&M. Super cheap. Blue. <laughs> I think it's boring to do the same thing all over and over. Black eyeliner. I'm gonna do it off cam. So <laughs> Be right back. Need to focus. There's Nelly. <laughs> Shout out to Nelly in the background. <laughs> okay, be right back. I only did a tiny wing and a thin line because, yeah, that's what I felt like. <laughs> then I will apply some of this light, I don't know, champagne shade or whatever. Uh, oh, not above, <laughs> under the brow, just a tiny bit to lift them a little bit and a little bit in the in a corner and now I'll do the base so I'll apply some of this green shade um, on my blemishes <laughs> You would think your skin gets better when, once you stop smoking, but my skin got worse, but yeah, that's life. Blend that out with my finger a little bit. That way you don't have to use as much foundation. I've used this palette a lot, I think it's good. The salmon. What are you doing, Nelly? <laughs> The salmon shade is good for dark circles. So yeah. Then I will apply this foundation by Lumina. Hope this still this color still works. <laughs> it's um fair beige. And I like to use a brush, one of these brushes, not the flat ones because I think the flower ones leave streaks. And then if I have the time um energy I like to use a sponge afterwards. I think it's hard to tell if the color matches you if you have <laughs> like a lamp studio lamp or whatever lamp uh, pointed in your face because yeah. I heard by a makeup artist that um, you're supposed to okay I'm tapping it on the green you don't want to drag uh, the green correcting concealer see it's correcting you don't want to drag it around and mess it up um, yeah, I heard by a makeup artist that you're supposed to drag it down to where your clothes start. That was pretty smart. And on your ears, if you want to be really, like, 
if you want to do it the right way <laughs> because you might be you might have I don't know discoloration or whatever red ears <laughs> okay that's good enough you don't need that much foundation if you're gonna use um, other products like if you're gonna use wet I prefer wet contour so then you don't need that much uh, foundation I know my face might look too dark but it's fine I'm not going anywhere okay time for some contour haven't done my makeup now in ages <laughs> when I don't feel like it I don't feel like it Sometimes I feel like doing it all day, every day, <laughs> you know? I have my face as when it comes to everything. So that's why you see me doing like one thing for a week on my channel and then I do something else. I hope you don't mind. We'll get so bored if I did one thing all the time. Like if I had a makeup only channel. Yeah, channel. Why are you so stressed, Nelly? Can't you just lay down and relax? Come on. So, as you can see, I'm kind of tapping it. I'm not dragging it. Am I too far away from the camera? Sorry about that, but I hope you can see me anyways. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Did you know, or no you didn't know, but when I was younger, a few years ago, I used to tan a lot, like tanning beds, but I wouldn't do that now. I got like an addiction, a lot of people get addicted to it, it's like tanorexia, it's sort of anorexia. not good for you, not worth it. Okay. Then I will fill in my brows a little bit. Only like where I'm missing hair. I don't like to fill them. Or I don't like to do that much to them. Ten second brow. Okay, done. And I'm not gonna use a brow gel because I haven't really found one that I like. I've had those transparent ones, a couple cheap ones, maybe that's why, but they dried up like white, not transparent or translucent. So I don't know, maybe I need a dark one instead. I don't know. Then I'm gonna apply some bronzer. You don't have to say, uh, you don't have to tell me that my face and neck mat and uh, don't match. It's fine. I have another foundation that's lighter, but yeah, whatever. Then I'm gonna apply this uh, blush that I really like. It's by NYX. It's called Ombre Ombre Blush Mauve Me. I think it's really pretty on the <laughs> apples of my cheek. I don't know if you can see it, it's pretty subtle. Okay, then I'm gonna do my lips with this. Um, Glitter Pop W7 Glitter Liquid Lip Color in the color Bare Blitz. 
no uh, lip liner because I'm lazy today <laughs> and it's fine. It's okay to be lazy. I'm done with this look. <laughs> Didn't feel like doing any highlight. So this, I showed you this one in another video. Like if you press your lips together, the glitter shows up. Can you see? <laughs> I think it's a pretty nude or brown color. Okay, finished look. Hope you liked it. I had a lot of fun. I'm back on track. And uh, leave your video requests or makeup look requests in the comment section. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and turn on notifications. Take care and peace out. Bye.